Hello friends, good morning. <laughs> Look at my hair, Ugh. craziness. All right, so I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments and then I'm gonna share this to my other pages and then we'll get started. There we go. Okay, so everything you're about to see is gonna be available right there, rayhopebeauty.com. And then I'm gonna pin up some of this craziness. I'm actually gonna pop on after this live and do like fix my hair. Um, obviously you see that it's already like kind of in that style. So I'm just gonna show you kind of like what I do to like upkeep it pretty much like the next day. So be on the lookout for that if you've been wanting to see that. But let's make ourselves a little more presentable. Let's put in the other earring and we'll get started. But good morning, how are you guys? Welcome, welcome, happy Sunday. Sunday but I am gonna be we're going to the pumpkin patch later today and so I'm gonna show you guys like a really pretty like fall inspired um, eye and lip tutorial this would actually be probably what I'm gonna be doing for Thanksgiving it's just super super bronzy and warm and pretty um, and we'll just like make everyone's skin just glow so if you've been wanting a routine a routine a routine that makes your skin like really glowy you're gonna love this tutorial with the eyes with the lips with the highlight and all of that so be sure to catch it on the replay if you can't stick around for the entire tutorial or if you found this tutorial helpful or you found like that you got like something of substance from it please 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 go ahead and click that share button in your bottom left hand corner I can't tell you how much that helps me and my business when you do share or invite your friends to watch or share my website with any of your friends or family or anything like that. It, it is literally how we keep a roof over our heads. So I like can't express my gratitude enough for that. So if you do shop from me or I do help you with makeup, thank you. I just wanna put that out there. Big, big thanks. Aw, thank you. Yay, oh my gosh, I love the gala mirror. It's my fave. Yay, hello, family, I love it. Welcome, welcome. Just in time, awesome. Um, Michelle, I was reading your comment. I would probably do the concealer in taffeta for you if you're wearing cashmere foundation. But you guys can always um, message me if you guys need a recommendation or color matcher. You're not sure what color you are or what concealer to grab or anything like that. You can always send me a message. Today we're gonna be using the Liquid Touch Foundation mixed with my BB Flawless. It's like spewing all over the place. Um, so we're gonna mix these two together. If you guys caught my tutorial that I did on my mom, this is the combination that she loves. She has combo skin. Um, she's obviously older, she's my mom, I'm 30, so do the math there. And um, this is the combination that she really, really loves for her skin, and her skin looks so incredible. Every time I see her when she does her makeup, I'm like, you look so flawless. What are you wearing? I'm like, oh yeah, you're wearing this. But it's really funny because this combination is actually my favorite too, and I have naturally oily skin. Um, but this coverage together equals like flawless porcelain doll. If you struggle with like hiding anything, whether it be sunspots, acne scars, dark circles, you name it, this combination is incredible. It's so amazing too, because you get like dual options. So you could use this by itself. You could use this by itself. Obviously we're going to mix them today, but the difference, I get that question a lot. Like what is the difference? So the BB Flaws Complexion Enhancer is more of a tinted moisturizer, similar to a CC cream, but it has a light to medium coverage. It does have a natural SPF in it, so which is really nice. Um, so you don't have to actually wear an SPF underneath it. You don't have to. I know a lot of people are like crazy about their SPF, so you totally can, but you don't necessarily have to with this guy. So like I said, tinted moisturizer. And then this guy is the uh, Liquid Touch Foundation or the Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation, all the fancy pants names. I'm gonna be using the shade Eyelet and Honey today for my um, skin tone. It may be like a tiny bit dark, but I'm in the process of losing my tan. Um, so we'll even it out. Um, but this guy is gonna be more of a medium to full coverage. This is gonna be a matte finish. This is gonna be a dewy finish. So when we mix them together, we're gonna get that dewy, or that like satiny finish. I'm telling you guys, it's incredible. So forewarning with the Liquid Touch Foundation, you definitely wanna make sure that you are squeezing the topper and that you're shaking the heck out of this. The more you shake it, the thicker the consistency will be. So highly recommend to make sure that you're doing that. 
So again, squeeze and shake, and you can hear it in there to make sure that you're shaking it up enough. You show the best advice ever. Oh, thank you. What shades are your most favorite? Kimberly, message me and I can give you like a list of my like top faves, whether it be for lipstick or eyeshadow or whatever. Ah, uh, yay, Tracy. I know, isn't that amazing? Like how, how some people like see you. You know what I mean? Like when I'm wearing this combination, same thing. I always get compliments. But then if I'm wearing another foundation, like I may get like a compliment here and there, but it's like with this, people are like, oh my gosh, they're like, drawn in and you'll see why all right so we're gonna squirt squirt a little bit of our bb flawless complexion enhancer on top of my powder concealer brush and then we're gonna go right in with the liquid touch foundation in the shade eyelet and you're just gonna squirt right on top of that the reason that i like to use the bb flawless first on my brush is because it's a thicker consistency so the liquid touch foundation sits really nicely on top of it so we're just gonna dot it around our face and then we're just gonna start buffing and blending this in. And again, this is called the Powder Concealer Brush and I really love this for fast, even, nice coverage. I am, of course, gonna go over it with my blending buds, but I really, really love how this just gets it on very evenly and beautifully. Another thing that I love about this foundation is it's not heavy, it's not cakey, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask and it lasts for a really long time. I think each foundation bottle lasts me around five months, four to five months. Five to six if I'm mixing it with the BB Flawless a lot. And then always, always, always bring down the neck. But you guys can already see how that totally reduced all of my redness, beginning to hide my dark circles, beginning to hide any of my little acne or blemish scars, and absolutely just evened out my skin tone. So if you are more of a less is more kind of gal, you like less makeup on your face. You are not like a huge foundation fan, but you still want that flawless like coverage or you just want that even skin tone, which I know a lot of people just want the even skin tone. They don't want like a ton of coverage. They just want to make sure that their face looks even, which totally feel you on that one layer. So that was like two drops and one little squirt of the BB Flawless and the Liquid Touch Foundation on the powder concealer brush, and that totally evened out my skin. So you could move on at this point to the concealer or whatever other steps you're wanting to take in your makeup routine, and you're gonna get amazing coverage. Now I love full coverage, so I'm gonna keep layering it on, but that's another thing that I really love about this makeup is that it's totally layerable or blendable. So you can build it up to equal like really good coverage, really bold coverage, or you can use just a tiny bit of it and still get that really amazing flawless coverage. So again, we're gonna go right on top of that and we're just going to dot it around our face and then we're gonna just blend it in. Now with this layer, I don't blend it in all the way because I'm gonna go over it with my blending buds and I'm gonna explain why I use, whoop, my earring just fell out. All right, we'll just take them out because they're annoying me anyway. Um, I forget what I was saying. But blending buds are super duper important with getting your skin super flawless. But I love going in with the powder concealer brush first because it just layers it on really fast. And who has time to blend, right? Just like get it on, get it out. I've been doing that as well, bisque in the BB and taffeta in the liquid. What color would that be in the spray foundation? Um, Leah, you would want the shade, hmm. you'd want the shade Eyelet in the spray foundation and you guys all of what i've used just now is available in the kudos and like i keep telling you guys to make sure that you snag more than one kudos because it's never been an option to be able to choose whatever foundation you want typically it's only like liquid touch and the stick and the spray but this is the first month that you can pick the bb flawless as one of your foundation options so this you can choose, you can choose a liquid, you can choose a stick, you can choose a spray. So whatever option you're missing, I would definitely, what am I doing? I would definitely snag it. So now we're gonna go with the blending buds. These are damp. I rang them underneath water before um, I'm using them. So they're not wet, but they're damp. And then I know they're dirty. I need to wash them really bad. <laughs> but we're just gonna bounce this off our skin all over. And do you see how beautiful this applies? It just completely smooths out. So prime example. So that's with a brush, okay? Now watch it with the blending bud. And we're just bouncing this off our skin, working into the hairline, down and around the eye, and then same here, 
See how you can kind of see that texture of the foundation? You can see that texture of your skin. Look at that. Look how incredibly smooth this makes it. It also not only makes your foundation look much more smooth, I look as sleepy, but it also is going to help to minimize the appearance of pores and help to prevent creasing, which yeah, sign me up. There's nothing I hate more than my foundation creases, right? What it also does is it also makes your foundation appear much more full coverage because it's being very intentional on how, where it's getting placed. So I highly recommend if you don't already to definitely make sure that you're using the blending buds to apply your foundation. So again, all of what's on my face right now is just these two things, liquid touch foundation and the BB flawless. We mix them together. Both of these are on sale in the kudos. So if you're not sure what color to grab, message me and I can tell you. And um, you can buy them multiple kudos. So you can pick one with the liquid and grab a concealer in a lighter color for highlighting, or you can grab the BB Flawless and grab a concealer in a darker shade for contouring or for all over coverage. So there's a ton of options, but never before has there been a kudos where you can pick the BB Flawless as an option. Thank you so much, Manny. We're so excited. Um, when are y'all moving? Uh, we're moving in like uh, January. So we close escrow on Friday. We get the keys on Monday and then our contractor starts on Tuesday. So we are in escrow on our current house, like this house that I'm in right now. Um, and we actually opened escrow on the same day that we closed escrow on the other house. It was like totally God's timing. Like I was very stressed out about it. I thought this house was gonna open escrow before we closed on that house. I was very anxious about it. I don't know if, it, if you could like tell in my like daily post, if, you, if I like looked or seemed off, I felt definitely off because I was so stressed out. And it was totally God's timing. He like completely had it all. It was amazing. It like really, you like could feel the movement of him throughout the process. It was, it was really, really crazy. But anyway, so this house closes escrow around January, or sorry, uh, December 15th, but who wants to move during the holidays? Like no one. So we are gonna do like that, like, um, I forget what the technical term is called. It's like, owner ownership or something like that renters ownership or i don't know but basically we're just paying the new owners like rent basically to stay here another two weeks so we'll move into the new house around the first week of the year so yeah it's very overwhelming and very exciting but basically we're just going to try to remodel as much as we can before we move in so our like our goal for the new house is to um renovate our bedroom master bathroom and the kitchen so at least we have like rent or own yes thank you that's the term <laughs> um so yeah that's the plan so i'll be here until january and then we'll be in a new spot and i finally mama gets an office i will no longer be sitting at my dining room table i've been sitting here doing my makeup for four years four years so i'm finally so excited like i am so big uh congratulations new ha finally live yay hi janice i have to try this i've been looking for something different oh my word you do you will love it counting how many times you say kudos you should cynthia because i think i say it at least 100 times minimum spray foundation good for older skin yes janice it is so 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 good what does that mean am i in the case i'm not sure what you mean steph what did i say that i what do you mean what do i mean Yes, yeah. Does this work very good for older women? Absolutely. So I actually figured out this combination with the liquid touch and the BB Flawless from my mom. My mom is in her 50s and she has combo skin and she's not, I'm not like trying to call her out, but she's not very good at makeup. Like she doesn't really know how to do makeup. She was always a tomboy. Um, so if she can do it, anyone can do it. And she would say this herself. I'm not like saying anything bad. She would be like, yep, <laughs> right. So if you're looking for like an easy, like no skill involved type, really flawless coverage, this is it right here. BB Flawless Liquid Touch Foundation. And then I just use my Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade Organza. And I just pop that on my under eye for fuller coverage. And you cannot see my dark circles. You cannot see my little blemishes. You can't see any redness. My skin looks like a porcelain doll, right? Would you agree? Click the little heart emoji if you agree. 
And everything I'm using, the brand, every all the makeup is available right here. RayaHopeBeauty.com is where you can buy everything. Everything has a love it guarantee, so if you don't love anything for any reason, you can just return it for your money back. I'll even help you with the return. All right, so I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender. This one's from Walmart. I'm gonna spray it with my setting spray just to get it like a little bit moist. And then now I'm gonna go in with the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. Now this setting powder is really amazing if you have oily skin or large pores. What it does is it draws out the natural oils of your skin and basically traps it. So if you work somewhere where you're working around grease or you work outside or you're going through menopause, like this is a really good um, little tool to be able to absorb any of that oil or sweat without it pushing against your foundation because what this does is it's drawing it out and it's trapping it basically. So instead of it moving your foundation around, it's just gonna absorb into the setting powder. Now you can go as hog wild with this as you want. I naturally have very oily skin, so this is how I apply it, but you don't necessarily have to apply it this, this much. You can do it much more um, like thinner. So I popped the cap off mine so I could do this, but naturally it comes with this little mesh plate and you can take like any type of fluffy brush, like like this one, just like a tapered fluffy brush. You'll tap it in, you'll tap it on in those areas. So if you have a lot of fine lines or wrinkles, um, you don't have to use it this, like this much on your face. Congratulations, thank you so much. I'm gonna link my outfit over on Instagram as soon as I get off. Thank you. How much is the kudos? It's $99 and you get the foundation, the primer, the setting spray, and the concealer. And normally it would cost $50 more. It would be $150 and you can get it for $99. So it's such a good deal. What's good for under eye puffiness? The blending buds, the concealer, the rose water. Those are all amazing for puffy under eyes. And also the spray foundation would probably be the best option for puffy under eyes because it's kind of a it feels like it it's a firming foundation choice so if you are looking for something that's a little more firm feeling a little more like supportive the spray foundation is the way to go it really feels like you have nothing on but as it dries you almost feel like i don't know it, it feels so good it feels really good can you use a bead floss with the spray yes you could, but how I would do that is I would apply the BB Flawless and then I would apply, apply the spray on top of it. Back to back. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, Leah. <laughs> what brand of makeup is this? Tracy, everything's available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And if you need any recommendations, you can message me and I can give you, I'll tell you what to get. Spray then would be good for dry skin. Yes, Janice, the spray foundation is actually good for all skin types. Here's another little tip or trick if you do have darker under eyes or you struggle with your under eyes creasing or you have dry skin and you still wanna set your concealer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder in the shade Scarlet, which is the lightest shade. We're gonna take the dry beauty blender that we had before and we're just gonna push this on our under eye. What this does is it not only brightens it, but it also is going to be firming our under eye. So instead of the concealer or our under eyes creasing, it's gonna basically act as like cement. So it's gonna like stop it in its tracks. No movement there. So if you are dry skin and you're like, oh, I can't use a setting powder, this is another option for you to be able to do. And we're just using this fan brush because look how soft that is. So it's not gonna mess up or move around my makeup. I know, mixing the BB Floss and Liquid Touch is truly like the fullest coverage. It's so good and it's so hydrating and it still doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. I feel like I've seen, I have to figure out what colors to mix for me. Michelle, message me and I can give you a recommendation. Yes, everything's available right there, exactly. So that works for me, exactly. I'm gonna give you guys full uh, jewelry and outfit details over on my Instagram as soon as I get off here. My Instagram name is Rhea Hope. Surprise, surprise, because that's my name everywhere, including my real name. <laughs> so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Just join, how'd you prep your face? So I always do the same pre-makeup routine before I put on any makeup every single day. I do the Touch Bold Setting Spray in the Glorious Face Primer, and I do the setting spray again afterwards. It's such a good deal. I'm 30. Where do we send our pictures? So you can tap on my face, a little window will pop down, and you'll tap on my name. That way you'll be able to see the option to send me a message. Um, but really you can message me however you want or can. 
Um, so you can message me on Instagram, on Facebook, however you want, feel free. I, I check every inbox I own. <laughs> So make sure that you send me a selfie or a recent photo and I can give you that recommendation. And if you're not like computer savvy or Facebook savvy, um, my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com, at the very bottom of that website, uh, you'll see an email or an option to send me an email and you can do it that way too. How do you color match for the kudos? I just need a selfie facing a window. That is the best for color matching. The natural light hits your face and I'll be able to tell your true skin tone. You can wear makeup or no makeup, doesn't matter. I've been doing this for almost four years and I've actually been, I am do wedding makeup, I'm just locally, not like craziness, like all the time, just basically by referrals. So I've done this makeup on all ages, all skin tones. I know how this makeup oxidizes. I know how, you know, what combos to pair together to equal out your skin tone. So if you need to be color matched, not to toot my own horn, but I'm the person to get color matched by. So blah, blah, blah. definitely make sure that you send me a message. Sometimes I feel like I'm like word vomiting, like, <laughs> but I've also had a venti, so I blame it on coffee. I know, I'm so excited too. The BB Flawless has a natural SPF in it, yes. And yes, Sherry, you can just use the BB Flawless if you wanted. Um, to best to prevent creasing is what I just did. The Mineral Touch Press Powder, like pushing that underneath, really, really helps. I mean, look how firm my under eyes look. I believe how you don't feel like there's anything on your skin. I know, right? It really doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. To minimize pores and fine lines, I would probably say the spray foundation. Um, so it looks light on my chin like that because I used the setting powder. But now I'm going to even out my coverage using the pressed powder in the shade uh, Satin. Patty, I'm not like that knowledgeable on what exactly equals a toxin. So I would definitely make sure that you check out the website. Underneath they have the full product list or sorry, ingredient list. Um, so I would check that out. I'm not one to like BS. So I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly what toxin you refer to. Um, but we are a cruelty free makeup brand and we are it is healthy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. There's great color matching. Thank you. Seven rose and Ray Hope. Oh my gosh, how funny. That's crazy. Uh, which goes for a setting spray or primer? Both. So I do setting spray, primer, setting spray. That's the routine that I like swear by. All right, so as you saw, I just kind of took my pressed powder in the shade Satin, which is like my true shade all over my face just to even it out the coverage and look at how airbrushed my skin looks. Isn't that amazing? Completely flawless, no redness, no dark circles, no nothing. I love this combination. You can also choose the pressed powder in the kudos as well. So you either get your choice of the pressed powder, the liquid, the BB Flawless, the stick foundation, or the spray. You get to choose which of those five you want. <laughs> Um, so that's why I keep recommending you guys pick up more than one kudos because one, you can use it as a little stocking stuffer. So say you already have your primer, you can use that primer and give it as a gift. Um, or if you already had your concealer, etc. And if you're trying to buy for somebody else, because honestly, like makeup and skincare make for the best Christmas presents, you can always send me a message or send me a selfie of whoever you're shopping for. And I can give you a recommendation on what I would recommend for them. All right, so now we're gonna contour. We're just gonna add some dimension to our face so we don't look so washed out and we want to give like our face some shape basically. So we're gonna take our beachfront bronzer in the shade Hermosa and I'm just kind of going around my hairline up here with the tapered blusher brush. It's my favorite brush for contouring. You're just basically gonna avoid the center of your forehead. So see how that really kind of like mm, <laughs> focused it down? Draws the attention to the center of your face. And then for if you have like a droopier chin, like if you're getting older, I know that sometimes happens, you can go around the jawline and it's gonna make the appearance of a, like a sharper jawline. So that's a little tip. Just around that area. And then for your nose, super easy. You're just gonna take that same brush, squeeze it, and then you'll just run it down the sides of your nose. And I do not push hard when I'm doing this. It's like very, it's like just dusting it on there. Just like that. And now for your cheeks, you can do as bold or as like subtle as you want with this. And you can always go with like a lighter shade. I'm using the shade Hermosa, which is like the middle shade. 
but check out that difference. See how this side of my face looks much more rounder, it looks a little washed out. This side of my face, my under eye looks brighter, tighter, my cheek looks more plump, my cheekbones really are like ri risen, rised up, risen up, pushed up, you can see them more. <laughs> so, tiny bit of contouring makes the biggest difference on how your face shape looks really. So you go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth, that's kind of where you think of that line. And you're gonna take that brush vertically and then turn it, or I'm sorry, horizontally, and then turn it vertically. And then you'll just kind of do little swirls over that. And again, you don't need to be pushing hard. This product is super pigmented. So just a little goes a really long way. Just like that. Okay. And then what we're gonna do now is blush. So we're gonna take the shade Supple for today. And this shade is my favorite blush. It's just a very peachy, it's really gorgeous. You're gonna see. It has this really gorgeous sheen to it too. So it really acts as a highlight. So if you're balling on a budget, this is the perfect blush to snag because it acts as like a highlight and a blush all in one. So you're just gonna smile. You're gonna tap this on the apple of your cheek, working up to the hairline, sticking closer to the bronzer, just like that. And we're using the blusher brush by Unique for this step too. So just smile and just tap. The press powder is incredible. Our press powder is so silky soft, it's really airbrushed, it's amazing. It's not heavy, it's not cakey, I love it. It's probably like one of my top five favorite products of our line. All right, so now a little um, trick. So if you did contour too low or it looks too intense, this is what I do. So I take the Mineral Touch Press Powder in the shade Scarlet, which is what we use for our under eye highlight. I'm gonna take like a fluffy, it's like a tapered brush, and we're just gonna tap that in there really quickly. Swipe it through the mirror, and then you're just gonna very lightly dust this on the outskirts of your contour and around. So we want it to just sit right in this area. We don't want it to get too close to our mouth. And then if you get it through your hair, you can just dust it on those like little sideburn areas, and it lightens it up, just like that. So little tip trick whatever all right so now for highlight so since i cut my hair i've been really liking a very bold highlight i think it's like really flattering with like pixie cuts especially when you can see like your cheeks on both sides so what i've been liking to do is taking the mineral mineral touch the touch l mode luminizer in the shade pearly for this step and it's like a stick so it's like a cream to powder highlight so what i like to do with this is take your finger and you're just going to massage it on top. And look how pretty that is, it's like a rose gold. And then you're just going to tap this on the highest parts of your cheekbone and kind of go around the eye socket, just like this. And the reason that we're using our finger instead of like a brush is because the warmth of our hands are gonna help to kind of melt it into our skin so it doesn't look so like a line, it looks very blended. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. For older women, would you recommend the liquid foundation because you can use the BB Flawless together or the powder foundation and the BB Flawless? What's the difference? So Doreen, Doreen, sorry. I would recommend either the spray foundation or I would mix the two together, the BB Flawless and the Liquid Touch for older, older mature skin. Um, I feel like that really is the best um, coverage for older skin. I don't think that it lays on or like sinks into fine lines and wrinkles as much as maybe like the... I don't know, like it would by itself. Another good option is a stick foundation. That's really hydrating as well. So there's a ton of different options. Um, you can always just message me a selfie facing a window and I can tell you what combo to grab and what colors in that combo. So make sure that you're sending me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation on what I think would be best for you. So definitely make sure that you do that before you purchase. Um, or if you already know your shades, you can always grab it right here, rayhopebeauty.com. But I would definitely make sure that you guys check out before the end of October, because that's when the kudos is like no longer available. Uh, aw, thank you, Carol. I've been contouring my cheeks since I've been watching you. Last time I saw my 30 year old daughter said, mom, nice contour. Oh, I love that, Peggy. That's the best compliment. Thank you. All right, so now for highlight to continue it. So as you see, it looks really pigmented and pretty, right? Isn't that gorgeous? So that was just the Touch Mode Luminizer uh, Cream to Powder, and that was the shade Pearly. 
And now we're gonna go in with the same product, but this is in the powder form, and this is in the shade Lustrious, which is a little bit more of a bronzy color. So we're gonna dust this on the bridge and tip of your nose, and then you're just going to pop this right over the top of that cream. And this is really gonna cling to that cream, which just makes it more pigmented, which I'm like all about that. But for like a bronzy, dewy makeup look, this is like my jam. How pretty is that? Doesn't that just like draw your attention in? Oh, I love it. So gorgeous. All right, so now that we've done that, our highlight be popping. Now let's do our brows, which can be a little daunting, especially if you've never done your brows before, but I'm gonna show you how important it is to do them. It makes the biggest difference. Like how you're so, oh, thank you, I try. Sometimes I get off track, but I try to stay on. <laughs> All of your lips, may I ask if they're naturally yours? I have uh, lip injections. I posted like an old video that I recorded and like it was, a, it was a makeup tutorial, but I didn't have my lips done. And I guess it changes like the way that your voice sounds too. So people were like all up and riot about that. This isn't you, you've been hacked. I'm like, I swear to God, it's me. It's just from four years ago. But no, I get um, Juvederm lip injections twice a year. Cause I have like no upper lip at all. But if you, don't and you can't afford it we do have a product called the hottie lip plumper and it's incredible that's what i used to use yeah i'm using the bronzer in the shade hermosa okay so now for brows like i was saying so crucial it makes the biggest difference on how your makeup looks but especially if you have smaller or hooded eyes doing this step makes your eyes appear so much larger than they naturally are so this is always a good tip or trick if you wear glasses or if you have squintier eyes or just smaller hooded eyes. So it's so easy. And at first it may again seem hard or seem scary, but just keep practicing and just keep in mind, have a light hand, soft hands. But what you're gonna do is you're essentially just going to outline your brows and fill them in. We all know how to outline and color in, right? Just like you would on a piece of paper. <laughs> so you're gonna do to your eyebrows. But I just love how simple and easy these this pencil is. So again, this is the brow pencil in the shade medium and it has a retractable tip so you never have to worry about sharpening it. And if you messed up or if you got it somewhere like I just like put it down here, I don't know why I just did that. You can take the spoolie in and just very slightly scratch at it and it just erases it. But look how much room on this side of my face than this side. I'm making the same exact expression and this side looks like I have way more room for eyeshadow and my eye, it just draws you to it. Rather than this side looks a little bit messy, it looks a little bit more hooded than this side does. Do you guys see that? Amazing, oh, amazing. <laughs> Such a difference. So again, you're gonna start where you have like all that brow hair and you're gonna pull it back to the arch. Once you get to the arch, you're gonna take it through the tail. And then where your tear duct is, you're gonna go straight up. That's kind of where you know where to like cap off the brow. If you guys haven't done so yet, feel free to click that share button in your bottom left hand corner. If you feel like you've learned something or you got something of value today, I really, really, really appreciate when you guys do that. So thank you if you have already, but Go ahead and click that share button or if you know someone where you think that they would value these tutorials or get something out of it feel free to share it with them or tag them in the comments and if you don't already make sure you also follow me on instagram my name on instagram is raya hope all right so we're almost done i try not to be too much of a perfectionist with this because honestly brows are distant cousins <laughs> This is the brow pencil in medium. Uh, you would probably be the shade medium, Maureen. What do you recommend for people with sparse eyebrows? Stacy, I would probably get the uh, Brow Obsession palette. I was seeing if it was like right on top, but I don't think it is on my case. Um, oh, there it is. So this is what it looks like. So it comes in a little palette like this, but why I recommend this for if you have sparse eyebrows is because you will fly through this really quickly 
and you'll save more money if you buy it through a palette. So what I also love about the palettes is it comes with multiple colors. So say you're like a redhead or you have auburn hair or you kind of fall in between the colors, the palettes are amazing because you get two options. So you get like a lighter and a darker, you can mix them together or you can use one or the other. So this is a medium palette. So I love that you get the lighter brown option. You get the pomade and then you get two highlights for underneath your brow bone. Um, so that with the brow artist brush, which is under tools, it looks like this. So you'll definitely want this cause you get this angled side and all you'll do is super duper easy. You'll tap it in the pomade and then you'll tap it into whatever color you want. And then you'll just, you know, do exactly like I did with the pencil, but you're gonna do it with the brush. So definitely recommend that if you have sparse eyebrows. Thanks. All right, so now we're ready for eyeshadow. I'm so excited for this eye look. I like need to move closer, hold on. Okay, so for this eye look, this is gonna be super bronzy, really pretty. This is gonna be probably what I do for Thanksgiving, to be honest. And it's really simple, really, really simple. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna grab is your fluffy crease brush. This is under tools. It's the best eyeshadow brush ever. Definitely recommend it if you don't have it already. We're gonna take this color right here, which is the shade Jealous, and we're gonna tap our fluffy crease brush into that. And this is gonna be kind of like our base, our base shade. So tap, swirl into the cap, and then you're gonna think rainbow zigzag, just like that. And then you can go a little bit higher up. I always like swirl on this outside corner and take it in, just like that. And then on the other side, again, this is the shade Jealous. So just held on to the brand new. Oh, I love that. I hope you shared my website with them, Angela. <laughs> Yes, setting spray is definitely important. All right, so once we have the shade Jealous all over, and again, in my head, I'm thinking rainbow, rainbow, zigzag. And that just helps to blend it out really easily and really quickly. Okay, so now that we have that on there, see how that just, it's starting to build up that pigment. Now we're gonna go with this color right here, which is the shade uh, Gingerly, it's like this, caramely brown it's the perfect color for everyone i feel like i use this color in every single eye look just because it's like the perfect crease color just like that and the same thing over here and we're just popping this right on top of jealous but we're being a little more bold with it because this color is gonna be our crease color and it's gonna be kind of the brow color, like the star of the show-ish. I have gray hair on my brows and they don't lay very well. I don't take the color very well. So Peggy, I would probably get the light brow obsession palette for you or the blonde, I think it's called blonde. Oh, thank you. This eye look is super easy. So if you feel like you're not very good at eyeshadow, you'll be able to do this eye look and feel confident with it for sure. So all we have on our eyes right now is the shade Gingerly and Jealous. And we're not really too worried about blending it just yet. So now that we have those colors on, now we're gonna grab our cream shadow brush, which looks like this. Making sure there's nothing else on there. And then we're gonna grab the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Ornate. These are amazing if you have oily eyelids, if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on your eyelids. They're smudge proof. They are so easy to apply. They dry extremely quickly. It's amazing and they come in really pretty colors. So we're gonna take this color, we're gonna wipe off a little bit of that product and we're gonna just go all over the eye. So work inward, work upward, work outward, making just little tiny strokes. Just like so. Now, once we have that on, I'm not gonna open my eye all the way. I'm gonna take my cream shadow brush and I'm just gonna go over everywhere very light-handedly. And this is just gonna smooth everything out and it's gonna allow me to blend it very easily. Like blend it out. And it, like I said, it dries super fast. So as it dries, this is when I blend. So I'll just gradually get higher up. That's so pretty. 
Isn't that gorgeous? It's like full-blown smoky eye. You're like, what just happened? All right, so same thing on the other side. Wipe off just a tad of that product. And then work inward. Work upward, work outward. And I'm just sticking to like the ball of my eye. Put that away, grab the cream shadow brush. And again, this is the shade Ornate. This is legit the perfect eye look for Thanksgiving day. It's like a bronzy smoky eye with hardly any blending involved. And then as it dries, we'll just gradually get higher up to blend out just like that. And now you can always do another coat. So if you wanted it a little more bold or you feel like it doesn't look even, I always will kind of just go on the center of the eye on either side. Just to make the center pop more. Just like that. All right, so now here's when the blending comes. So now that that's pretty much all dry, now you're gonna go in with the shade Gingerly again, which was that caramely brown color on your fluffy crease brush. And you're just going to very, very, very light-handedly just go over all of that and it just kind of blends everything together. It makes it all look really like melted, which is exactly what we want. All right, now that we've done that, now I do wanna kind of blend out this outside corner a little. So I'm gonna grab the blending brush by Unique and again, best brush ever and there's nothing on this and I'm just gonna go over the outside because I don't want there to be any like distinct lines I just want everything to look very soft just like that and see how that really like softened it up okay so now that we've done that now I'm going to take another brush which is by Morphe it's a 432 um, and this is just like a liner brush we're gonna take this color right here, which is called Marvelous. It's like a dark chocolate brown. And I lied, before we do that, we're gonna take our eyeliner in the shade Perfect. And I love this eyeliner because it actually stays where you put it. And we're gonna line our water lines with this. And the water line is just basically the line that's right behind your eyelashes. It just makes your eyelashes look a little more uh, like bold, or like dark. And I like to do this before I do my eyeshadow underneath because it blends both out. Which gives you like this like cohesive smoky look. Ornate and wield in my face. Yeah, me too. Does it matter how far on the lid you put it? I would stick to just the like ball of your eye because then you can blend it up instead of like putting it all over. But if you're just using that one color by itself, you could put it all over the place. And the liquid eyeshadows are probably the most effortless eyeshadow that you could pick. They just are so easy to use and they're just so pretty. All right, so with this color right here, we're just using it underneath the bottom lash line, just like I said, to give it more of like a smokier finished look. See how that like really draws, like finishes it up. So same thing on this side. Also gives the illusion that we have mascara on the bottom lash line because I don't really like wearing mascara down there. I prefer it just on the top. So this is a way to like get away with doing that. Make sure it looks even. Even-ish. I'm like looking, I'm using you guys as a mirror. <laughs> All right, so now that our eyeshadow is done, how fast and easy is that and so pretty. Now we're gonna set our makeup and then we're gonna do our mascara and our lips. 
And it's so important, you guys, to set your makeup. Like, it's crucial. It takes away that makeup y look. It takes away the powdery look. It holds everything in a place and it adds just a touch of moisture to the powders on your skin, which helps it lay better and longer on your face. So, why I set my makeup before I put on my mascara and my lipstick is because it's, it preps and primes those two things for the products and it also helps to prevent them being wet. So I would put my mascara on and then I would set my makeup. So your mascara is already kind of a moist product. So when you're setting it with setting spray, you're making even more moisture there. So the likelihood of it transferring onto your skin is even higher. So think, what is it? Think smarter, not harder. So we're gonna set it beforehand so it's not you're not adding more moisture on top. Do you agree that if you already have the sunken in eye lining, the bottom waterline makes your eye look smaller? I would agree with that, yes. So what I would do is I would probably take the eyeliner in the shade Pristine, which is a white. So you could still do that same idea. So you could use the black, which is perfect, is the color. You could do the per uh, perfect color on top and the pristine color on the bottom. That way it opens up your eyes. Do you have dark green eyeliner for my waterline? Um... I'm not sure if we have a green. I know we have like a chocolate brown, which is called the shade proper. That would probably be what I would recommend for you. Thank you, Monica. Yes, please, please, please. If you haven't done so already, definitely make sure that you shoot me a message and I can give you a recommendation. If you haven't grabbed this month's kudos, which again is the foundation, concealer, primer, and setting, spray or powder, you get to choose and you save $50. Normally that bundle is $150 and you get it for 99 bucks. Such a good deal. And you could buy as many of them as you want. So if you already know what colors you wear in like the summer or the winter, I would stock up on those now. They're good until you pop the cap. So if you're worried about it ex being expired, don't. It's fine. So definitely make sure that you stock up on them while they're on sale. It's what I do. <laughs> I like wait for them too and then I buy all my colors. All right, so what I used before, what that white was, was the lash primer. The lash primer is amazing for not only making your lashes like fuller and longer, but it also has a property in it that makes your lashes permanently curl. So if you have straight stuffy lashes, it's incredible for that. Another thing that it does is it hydrates your lashes. So it's adding like moisture to them, so it actually helps them become stronger. So instead of like mascara drying out your lashes, making them thinner and more frail, the lash primer kind of acts as a barrier for that and it hydrates them. So it's amazing. It's kind of like a hair mask for your lashes. So if you're trying to grow out your lashes, I highly recommend to grab the, it's called the 4D Lash Trio. What comes in it is the Steam Lash Serum, which I use on my eyebrows and my lashes every single night before bed. And then it also comes with the Lash Primer and it comes with the 4D Mascara, which has the um, Steam Lash Serum infused in it. So you're legit nourishing your lashes 24 seven to get them to be longer and fuller. It's a no brainer and it's on discount because whenever you buy anything in like a collection or a set or a bundle, they discount it. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? It looks like I'm wearing falsies. It's crazy. And you could do as many coats of this as you want. It is water resistant also. Alright, we're done. Not pretty. What shade is one lighter than Eyelet? You'll want Taffeta, Tammy. Who's the green? Oh, okay. Then there we go. What I do, eyeshadow in green. You can. Absolutely can. There's no rules. Would you keep your mascara from clumping? Is my like first top recommendation is to grab this guy. If your lashes clump very easily, I would definitely make sure you grab the Lash Brow Comb. This metal side is for combing through your eyelashes, so you will do this step before you put on your mascara. That way your eyelashes are already moving in one direction so you're not expecting your mascara to comb through them for you. All right, so now for today's lip look. I'm not using my regular lip liner. I don't know. I'm gonna be using this color right here, which is really pretty for overdrawing your lips. It's a very like 
natural like uh, nude color, but it has like brown undertones in it. So this color is called Plush, and we're gonna line our lips with this. So if you're looking for a lip liner that just helps your lips look more plump or keeps your lipstick in a place, this color is the way to go because it's very, it, it doesn't draw the attention. And it's creamy, glides right on. It's only 15 bucks. Sign me up. Okay. Make sure they're even. All right. Now we're going to go with the liquid lipstick in the shade Stellar, which is one of my favorites to wear during fall because, again, it has this like really pretty brown undertone to it. And it has a really good hold. Like it lasts all day. Take it all the way to the lip liner. And when you're doing liquid lipstick, less is more. And I love the applicator on it because it makes like blending it out so easy. Not pretty. So pretty. Can you use Rose Water setting spray? You can if you have dry skin. Is Valeria the next shade up from Lace? Yes, it is. <laughs> What was the color again? This was the lip liner in Plush and the liquid lipstick in Stellar. I know, aren't they really pretty? And I love that the liquid lipsticks aren't like really drying. A lot of matte liquid lipsticks like dry out and they peel and they crack. These are not like that. They're so creamy. They dry into a matte finish, but they're not pulling or drying at all. And they have a really, really, really good hold. Um, Dawn, I would make sure that you're prepping and priming your skin really well. And then at night, I would make sure that you are using, um, an exfoliating, uh, cleanser and you are like taking off your, all of your makeup every single night. I would also recommend grabbing a silk pillowcase. A lot of the times cotton can like hold in, um, a lot of bacteria and dry out your skin. So if you're sleeping on a silk pillowcase, it's less likely to hold on to that bacteria and it's actually better for your skin and your hair. No, I used the Liquid Touch Foundation mixed with the BB Flawless today. The whole look is gorgeous, but that lip, yeah, I know, right? Looks so good. Thank you. All right, so very last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna top our lip look with the lip gloss in the shade Lux. And it's just gonna add like a really pretty sheen to it. Just like that. Also kind of lightens it up a little bit. So, so pretty. I feel like this side is looking lower. Hold on. Okay, much better. Sorry, that was irritating me. All right, and that is the lip look. That's a makeup look actually. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, you guys are so welcome. So if you had any questions or you need to be color match or you, you know, haven't gotten any recommendations from me yet, definitely make sure you send me a message today so I can give you a full recommendation if you're not sure what type of coverage to grab or eyeshadow, lipstick, whatever. Message me and I'm here to help you. Um, and then, yeah, definitely make sure you grab that kudos. Grab like five of them. <laughs> they are such a good deal and it's a perfect way to stock up on your products and it's the perfect present. So if you are like, I don't know what to get my mom or my grandma or my aunt or my daughter or my aunt or whoever, I mentioned the aunt twice, definitely grab the kudos for them. And if you're not sure what colors to grab for them, just send me a picture of them and I can tell you what um, shades they are. 
But I hope you guys all have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm actually gonna pop right back here on Facebook to fix my hair. I just have this like clip holding everything down. So I'm gonna show you how to um, kind of style my little fox hawk that I've been rocking lately. And I will see you guys in a minute. So make sure that you click those three little dots up here. It will turn on live notifications. And then you can also sign up to be alerted when I go live from me personally. All you have to do is text message on your phone. You'll text the number 83361. And again, I wrote it up there. And you'll text Raya Hope. So 83361 and you'll write Raya Hope there. So that will like opt you in. And then I'm gonna pop over on my Instagram to give you guys full outfit details, jewelry, everything. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go add me um, or follow me. My name on there is Rhea Hope. So I love you guys. I'll see you in like two minutes after I clean up all this mess. So I'll see you in a minute. Bye.